Hey guys. Hey, one teacher. Hi. Hello, Hi. Deja. Hello, Hi. birthday boy Lenny. How are you? Hello. Hello. I'm fine, thanks. Very good. Hello, Ricardo. Hello, Amilcar. Welcome back. How do you feel today? ¿Cómo se sienten hoy? Uf. Uy, ya se suspiro. <laughs> Cansada. Oh, I can hear it. I can hear it. You sound tired. Ese... Let me know that you're tired. <laughs> yeah, it's Thursday. One more mm -hmm. day. One more day. Do you work tomorrow? Do you work tomorrow? Delia? Yes. Do you, do you work tomorrow? Yes. Ah, I understand. Lenny, yes, do you I... do you work tomorrow? I don't understand that. Trabajas mañana? Yes. Ah. Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. And what about Ricardo? Do you work tomorrow? Yes, always. Yes? Ah, okay. That's good. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do the next activity, which is lesson objective 3.6, expressing wishes, expressing wishes. Now, before we go into the unit, I would like for you to tell me uh, in what situation do I use expressing wishes who can tell me in what situation do i use expressing wishes quien me puede decir en que situación voy a expresar expressing wishes teacher yes Veronica? When I, when we want to change, uh, for example, the situation. Very good. That is correct. That is correct. For example, for example, I can say, I wish COVID-19 didn't exist. Right? I wish COVID-19 didn't exist. Oh, um, I wish there weren't hunger in the world, right? Oh, I wish there weren't death in the world. So we use the, the phrase, I wish, whenever you want to express that you want to change the situation that we live. Okay, Delia, can you give me an example? I wish. Um, I wish. Um, uh, I wish I had different job. <laughs> ah, very good. I wish I had a different I job. Had... Very good. Mm -hmm. I wish I had a different job. Excellent. Lenny, can you give me an example? Just a question. Uh, in yes. the video, after wish, uh, it is always used were. That is but correct. Now, but now do you have? Oh, you can change. It's not always were. Were is only an auxiliary. For example, for example, in my case, yo digo, eh, deseo no ser tan negro. I wish 
I weren't so black. Right? Porque si apago la cámara, ni me ven. Digo, si apago la, la luz, on toy. O sea, este es mi color natural, guys. Ok, no crean que soy chelito. Yeah, miren, ni me pueden ver. Right? Sí, so, lo vemos, teacher. Pues me ven Cuando porque enciendo la luz. <laughs> Thank you, Lenny. <laughs> Pero sí, tiene razón, Lenny, que, que en el video solo les están enseñando el where. Eso es correcto. Pero el word se usa cuando estás hablando de, de la persona. Yo fuera o él fuera eh, eh, en el cero estar. Pero en este caso yo estoy diciendo, ella dice, yo quisiera, I wish, I had another job. Yo quisiera tener otro trabajo. O en el caso de lo que yo dije, yo quisiera que el COVID-19 no existiera. I no wish COVID-19 didn't exist. Ok, so sí se usa el were cuando estás hablando del cero estar, pero también se pueden usar hadn't, didn't, wouldn't, couldn't. Ok, no solamente es el were, depende de lo que quieres expresar. Si yo te digo... Yo deseo que yo no fuera tan moreno. I wish I weren't so black. Mm. O oh, si yo te okay. digo, yo quisiera ser más chele. I wish I were whiter. Ahí estoy usando el were. Oh, okay. Ajá. Okay. De Leleni. Thank you. Okay. Um, I wish... Um, I wear have bearded, bearded appearance. Ah, okay. En, en ese caso, vas a decir, I wish I, I wish had a better had appearance. A good. A, a better appearance. A better okay. appearance. O puedes decir, yo, decía, yo deseo ser más guapo. I wish I were... More good looking. Good looking. Okay. Okay. Good. Good job, Lenny. Ricardo, give me an example. Uh, okay. I wish her one car. Repeat, please. I wish one car. I wish. Have one car. Had one dog. Uh, Quisiera tener un I perro. Wish. I wish I had a dog. I wish I had a dog. Or oh, I wish I had a pet, for example. Okay, good job. Amilcar, one example. Um, I wish I could visit my mom. Very good. I wish I could visit my mom. Estoy así, guys, porque se acaba de venir una gran tormenta y casi no escucho nada. Eh, Nestor. I wish to visit. Hey, teacher. Uh, I wish I weren't small. I wish I weren't small. Oh, tall, small. Okay. Tall, tall. Small, ah, small, ah, ok. Eh, denme un segundito, guys. Tengo que cerrar las ventanas porque se está viniendo una gran tormenta. One moment, please. Ok.
Ok, ok, guys. ¿Por dónde íbamos? Íbamos con Néstor, Verónica. Dígame, Verónica, I wish. I wish my graduation was different. Ok, I wish my graduation was different. Excellent. Rodrigo Martínez. Hello. I wish and had and one car. Ah, no, I said, yeah, I wish I had a car. I, I wish had a car. Okay. I had a car. Enrique Ortega. Uh, I wish I had all my family with me. Oh, very good. I wish I had all my family. All my family with me. Perfect. Pedro... Pedro Rambo. <laughs> Hi, teacher. So, I wish I had my own house. Very good. I <laughs> wish I had my own house. Yes. Person Amaya. Excellent, Pedro. I wish I had a new bicycle. Repeat, repeat. I wish I have a new bicycle. Motorcycle. Bicycle. 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 Ah, okay. I wish I had a new bicycle. Okay. Very good. Herson. Kevin Hernandez. Kevin Hernandez. One example, Kevin Hernandez. Uh, I'm sorry, teacher. Yes. I wish I, I wish I gave a new job. Okay, I wish I had a new job. Yeah. Thank you. Neida Santos. I wish to visit my aunt. Ah, okay. I wish I could visit my aunt. Excellent. Ana Yesenia. Eh, Tienes el speaker en silencio, Yesenia. I wish I had uh, much money. <laughs> Very good. I wish I had Much money. Excellent. Yo creo que todos estamos en esta. The next one, Irania. Hi, teacher. 
I wish people don't die from COVID-19. Oh, very good, very good. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, COVID-19 is horrible. Okay, guys, eh, vamos a tomar la foto. Ya son las 8 y 15. Vamos a tomar la foto para sus empresas. La voy a tomar con el otro teléfono para verme más chelito. Sí. Ahí sí salgo yo, ¿eh? Uy, está cayendo una de aquellas. ¿Pueden escuchar? No escucho, pero aquí está igual, teacher, donde yo vivo. Nothing nice, guys. It's nothing nice. Okay. Everybody say English is easy. No, hombre, pero díganlo. English is easy. English is easy. English is easy. Okay, está bueno. All right, vamos a hacer un review rapidito de la gramática y de ahí vamos a continuar. Hasta así me hace el corazón. your bedroom so an easy example I wish my bedroom were bigger what kind of wishes do you have about your school or job well I wish my job wishes that you have about your personal life career and health for example you'll be able to make the following expressions I wish I didn't live with my parents I wish I had a different job I wish I were thinner Before I present the material, what I would like for you to do is to listen to an audio program that illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and complete some questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. So are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay. But my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could. But where else can I get free room and board? Yeah, it's sometimes pretty hard to pay the rent. I'm thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I worked somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Yeah, uh, maybe. Now let me start by presenting the structure. The first thing that I would like to point out is that we use wish plus a past tense 
in order to refer to present wishes. For example, if I have a situation that is true for me, such as I live with my parents and I would like for that to be something different, that is a wish that I have. In order for me to express that idea, I will say I wish I didn't live with my parents or I wish I had my own apartment. Um, if I think that life is difficult, for example, this is my present situation. If I want to express a wish that I have about that particular situation, then I will say I wish life were easier or I wish it weren't so difficult. Let's try to make sense of the examples that are on this chart. In order for us to understand those examples, what I would like to do is I would like to propose this formula here at the bottom. And so what we want to do is we want to take certain situations that exist in our lives and then we want to express wishes about those situations. The example that is stated here is I live with my parents. I would like for that to be something different, right? And so in order for me to express that idea, I'm going to have a subject. So in this case, the subject is I, and then this is going to follow wish plus the subject again. Now, the subject could be you again, or it could be another person, right? I wish I, and then the verb in its past form. So in this case, it happens to be that it's on a negative form. So we use didn't plus live. So I wish I didn't, and then whatever compliment, right? didn't live with my parents. There we go. There we go. And as you can see, the other example is quite similar. I wish I had my own apartment. In that second example, we can see that it's no longer in its negative form. So therefore, we're going to use the verb in the past. So the example will be, I wish I had my own apartment. So this is going to be in the past. So let's try to make sense of that second example there. I can't move out. So what happens there? I can't move out. The only thing that changed was that I'm using a model verb instead of a regular verb. Um, but what you got to remember here is that the model verb can, the past of that is could. And so it's basically the same concept, right? We're going to say, I wish. And then we're going to have a subject again. I wish I. So what is the past of can? Well, we can easily say that it is could, right? There we go. And so that's basically what we're going to put here. I wish I could. move out. Now let's try to make sense of the example, life is difficult. As you can see, the verb that we're using there is the verb to be. And something that I would like for you to learn at this point is that whenever we express wishes, we're going to use where for all of the pronouns. It doesn't matter if we're talking about I, he, she, it, we, you, or they. For all of them, we're going to use where. And so that's basically what's um, here at the bottom, after which where is used with all pronouns. So if we think about the example, life is difficult, and we want to express a wish, then we can say, I wish, and the subject again, life where easier uh, and of course you can make that in a negative statement I wish life weren't so difficult but it's basically the same pattern that we're following In the last example, my parents won't stop worrying about me. Well, what happens here is that I'm using a contraction there. So my parents won't stop worrying about me. In that particular case, I'm going to turn want or will not into would, right? So I wish, and in this case, subject, my parents would stop 
and then whatever complement, right? What kind of wishes do you have about your life? And as I mentioned at the beginning of class, we want to express personal wishes, we want to express family wishes, we want to express health wishes, we want to express professional wishes, if you will. So I'm just going to have a series of wishes here, right? So what kind of wishes do you have about your bedroom? So an easy example. All right, guys. So in this section, I want you to give me examples about these things. For example, my bedroom. I wish I had a 67 inch plasma in my bedroom. At my school. I wish I were the principal of my school. My job. I wish I made more money at my job. Next one, my appearance. I wish I were whiter. <laughs> My family, I wish I could visit my family in Houston, Texas. My possessions, I wish I had a Ferrari. Casi nada que era el niño. My skills. I wish I could C O U could code. Okay. Me van a hacer ejemplos como estos acerca de lo que usted desea. Do you understand? No los tiene que escribir, solamente los vamos a conversar. Teacher, uh -huh. what's the mean code? Eh, code es como coding, eh, el, el, eh, el lenguaje que habla la computadora se llama coding. Eh, hacer software, por ejemplo Windows, alguien tuvo que hacer el coding. Eh, todas las apps tienen coding, o sea, todo lo que todo lo que está adentro de la compu, el software, empieza por puros codings, comandos. Podría ponerse como programar. Programar, sí, yo creo que sí, programar okay. y coding creo que es lo mismo. Pero el, el, okay. lenguaje, el lenguaje técnico es coding, quiero ver. Coding, coding. C-O-D-I-N-G. Coding. Coding. Ahí está, ve, cursos en coding. Ahí está, ve, coding. Esto es coding. Comandos, programas. Algo que quisiera saber, pero por Houston. Do you understand, guys? Does everybody understand? Yes? Okay, let's work in pairs and let's practice. Work in pairs and practice. Uh, Neida Santos, you're going to work with Veronica. Amilcar is going to work with Pedro. Delia is going to work with Rodrigo. 
Ana Yesenia is going to work with Enrique. Gerson is going to work with Nestor. Irania is going to work with Kelvin. E. Lenny is going to work with Ricardo. Let's go. Eh, veo que Delia no entró, Jessica Pérez no entró y Rodrigo Martínez no entró. ¿Qué les pasó? Se les cayó la red. Ok, Jessica la voy a poner en el 7 con Lenny y Ricardo. Eh, ¿Qué le pasó? Eh, Jessica Pérez, ¿qué le pasó? Hola Jessica, ¿qué le pasó? No entró. Ya la voy a ubicar. La voy a poner. Es Jessica Pérez. La vamos a ubicar con Irania y Kelvin en el 6. Y nos fuimos. Tiene que darle clic donde dice ingresar a sesión pequeña. I wish. I wish I had a new TV in my bedroom. Puse la primera. A school or job. I wish. 
Wish I may, I wish I made more production in my job. La otra es apariencia. Wish. Delgado, ¿cómo se dice? No sabe. Creo, creo que Tim. Tim. Ajá. Delgado. Sí. Eh, puede decir thin o puede decir skinny. Uh -huh. Así ve. Skinny. Thin. Skinny. <risa> <risa> y ese de donde apareció, dice Ana. <risa> I wish I were. I wish I were more skinny. No, no, no. Solo, solo. Uh, para si va a ser el comparativo. Solo skinny. Y así ve. I wish. I, I were wish, skinny. I were skinnier. Así. Skinnier. Skinnier. Pero para eso oh, tiene que ser. Okay. Tiene que ponerse... Ya voy a, ya voy a, ya voy a comenzar, ya verá. Sí. Ahorita ya comencé la dieta. Ah, ok. Yo todos los días hago. Si aquí donde me ve, ahorita Ay, estoy sí. molido, molido. Porque mm. hice una rutina ayer y, a, y antier que... Je, sufrido, oh. sufrido, pero... Oh, delicious. Me encanta el dolor. <risa> I wish I had all my family. Where well, that ponela que puse un ejemplo. With me. Porque no los tengo todos conmigo. Dice, I wish I had all my family with me. Y la otra era. Oh, I wish my job buried. Possessions. My possession. ¿Cuánto dijo? ¿Cuánto dos, dijo? Dos, dos, cinco, sé, cinco, 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 creo. creo. Sí. Así como es el de, el de, el de posesión, es el que él dijo, I wish I could cut. De, que le gustaría codificar I could, Nova. Could, I could guess. I could. Eh, codificar, dijo. Pero no sé si es entra como posición. Nova. 
porque entiendo que position es como una posición de, como le dijéramos, de mi trabajo. ¿Lo entiendo así? Ah, ah, pensé, que era, ajá, pensé que era posesión, pero es o posición. posición es, es posición o posesión. Ah, ah, posición creo, lo que usted dijo. Porque, ah, fue donde él dijo, I wish I were the principal of my, my school. Ajá. FFS, entonces, este, posición. ¿Verdad que sí? Uh -huh. el, <ríe> ¿Qué desearía ser el, el presidente <ríe> del país? <ríe> I wish I were a Yo quisiera ser, I wish I were, uh, English teacher, estaría bien. Mm. Eso. <laughs> oh, I wish, Eso. I, I <laughs> wish, wish I, were. I were, pero eso sería así, mire. Uh, English teacher. Así, uh -huh. I wish, uh -huh. I were. I were an English and English. Sure, yeah. Okay. Eso está bueno. I wish I were an English teacher. An English teacher. I, I wish I were the president of the country. Oh, casi nada. I wish I were the president of the country. Oh, yeah. Big money. I, Eso es lo importante. Yeah, and the power. I wish I were the president of El Salvador. Excellent. Good job, Ana Yesenia. <laughs> ya está, ¿verdad? Ya, ya las tenemos, ¿no? Ya las tienen todas. Vaya, pues ustedes dos van a ser mis primeritos dos participantes. <laughs> ¿Eran cinco, no, teacher? Eran cinco, cabal. Okay. Así que pónganse buxos, porque a ustedes dos los voy a elegir ahorita. Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let me have two volunteers. Let me have two volunteers. Ana Yesenia and Enrique Ortega. Ana Yesenia and Enrique Ortega. Ana, please. Ask the question. Enrique, respond to the question. Ana, ask the question. La, la pregunta sería, what, what do you wish? Esta sería la pregunta. What do you wish? 
Esa es la pregunta. What do you wish? Haga la pregunta Ana Yesenia y Enrique le va a responder. What do you wish? I wish I had a new TV in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. Continue. Me cinco. Okay. I wish I made more production in my job. Mm -hmm. I wish I were a skinner. Okay. I wish I had all my family with me. Excellent. And, and I wish I were English teacher. I wish I were an. Ahí le faltó el I, an. an. Yeah. Uh, I wish cool. I were an English teacher. Okay. Very good. I wish I were an English teacher. English teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Applause for Enrique. Good job, Enrique. <laughs> now, Enrique, oh, you, ask the question and Ana Yesenia, respond, please. Okay, Ana Yesenia, what do you wish? I I wish I wish I had a computer in my job. I wish I could visit my family in California. I wish I had a head oven in my kitchen. I wish I had a car in my garage. I wish I were the president of El Salvador. Perfect. <laughs> Casi nada. The president of El Salvador. <laughs> Con guardaespaldas <laughs> y todo. Okay. <laughs> Así <laughs> sí. Okay, guys. Now, what we're going to do is uh, move forward and we're going to look at the following activity, which is activity number 3.8. Activity number 3.8. Now, on this activity, I would like for you to look at the knowledge check instructions read and listen to the following conversation and answer the questions instrucciones lea y escuche la siguiente conversación y responda las preguntas so you're going to listen to the audio and answer the questions you will do this in pairs. ¿Quieren trabajar con la misma persona o quieren que les cambie de pareja? ¿Qué prefiere? ¿Trabajar con la misma persona o cambiar pareja? Como la sea, dicho. Como sea, vaya. Va. Let's go. Ok, sería en el 3.7. Sí, porque, ajá, creo que sí. Ok. Ok. 
que sí. Ok. Yo me voy a salir de aquí porque... Siete, quiero ver si este es. No, es el 3.8. Ok. Ahorita sí. lo pongo. Muchas. Ok, ya, ya lo tengo. Uh -huh. Pero bien raro porque ahí está en. Habla de witches en plural. Which, ah, quizás porque es un he has his own. <ríe> Lo escuchamos. Yes, yes, yes. Yo digo que sí. <ríe> um... Eh, pero para escucharlo, ¿será que le damos aquí? Yo creo que sería, bueno, para escucharlo serían los dos individual, pero podemos discutir a la hora de contestar las preguntas. Ok. ¿No? Ok. What keep wish? Eh, ¿Ya le escucho? ¿No? Sí. Ok. Yo ya le escuché. No Ajá. sé si entendió todo. No puedo entender todo lo que menciona. Um, yo le escuché varias veces y yo lo contesté. <risa> ah, pero ya, ya. Yo lo contesté ayer, pero ya, yo lo vuelvo a escuchar, no importa. Pero sí fue, en alguna me equivoqué. En algunas me equivoqué, pero lo volví a, a poner para ver qué era. Ok. Wishes, eh, a mí me suena, wishes tal vez no en plural, pero me suena en pasado. Uh -huh. I don't know. En pasado. Uh -huh. Porque va, por uh -huh. ejemplo, what kid of the wishes those Terry had? Yo supongo, porque ahorita estoy bien suponiendo. Sí, porque está tos. Pues sería en pasado, uh -huh. o sea, por ejemplo, nos está preguntando qué quiere Terry, qué desea Terry. What kid of uh -huh. Terry had? Uh -huh. ¿Qué desea Terry? Por lo que entiendo es que, eh, o sea, en la conversación es que menciona que eh, ¿por qué te quieres cambiar? Uh -huh. Él menciona que quiere cambiarse porque vive con los padres, pero porque uh -huh. es que necesita, quiere un nuevo apartamento. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué no te gusta vivir en casa? Menciona que se quiere cambiar porque no quiere hacer las tareas de la casa, lo, lo que uh -huh. es que no llega tarde. Entonces, hay, what, what kid of wishes those their head? Um, or that person, um, no, sería, yo me imagino que sería la dos. Uh -huh. La, la dos. dos. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok. Sería la dos. What? What kid of wishes do Brian have? 
hoy nos pregunta del otro personaje. Uh -huh. Y voy a ver la imagen. Brian Wolf Parent. Why don't you like um I don't know, pero it's a good and I have a job, no. I have a parent. Sí. I don't know. Me imagino que es la dos, no. Yo había la puesto dos? la dos. Okay. Esa fue en la que yo me equivoqué. <ríe> Ayer cuando lo hice, okay. yo había puesto la dos, pero no, es la tres. He wishes he work, work and... Uh -huh. Ok. Bueno, ya no va a cerrar la, la conversación, pero... Sí. Sí, pero ya, ya lo entendí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Esta fue una de las que me equivoqué. Yo pensé que era la dos. Sí, porque realmente no lo menciona. Lo que uh -huh. pregunta no lo menciona. Uh -huh. Are you in the flow falling? Esa sí es la uno. Laura wishes she had free time. Free time, yes. Mm -hmm. Online. Where is the teacher? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> number one, number one, what kind of wishes does Terry have? He wishes he had his own apartment and that life wasn't so difficult. Number two, what kind of wishes does Brian have? He wishes he worked somewhere else and lived somewhere more exciting. Number three, rewrite the following sentences using wish. Laura doesn't have any free time. Laura wishes she had some free time. Number four, Dan can't fit into his old jeans. Dan wishes he could fit into his old jeans. Okay, guys, time's up for today. We're going to stop right here. Uh, please try to continue as much as possible on the platform. Please don't stop working on the platform. It's very important. And we will see you on Monday. See you on okay. Monday. Okay. Thank All right. You. Good night. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you. Good night, Good night, teacher. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you, guys.